It's great to be with you on this Monday for the word of encouragement. And I trust you're surviving this winter. Uh, it's amazing everywhere. It's unusual and uh, cold and a lot of snow, but it's amazing. Right in the middle of that kind of time, you can have some of the best services, some of the best opportunities uh, throughout the year. So we're thankful for what the Lord is doing here. Today, I'd like to go to John chapter 18. And this, of course, is an account of the arrest of Jesus Christ and then the denial of Peter and certainly a lot of things that show the wickedness of man and the weakness of man. You find the Sanhedrin uh, coming to apprehend Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane being led by the traitor Judas. And it's a sad, sad commentary on the greed of mankind to miss who the Savior is, and that's certainly the story of Judas. It's also a tragic thing to see the rejection of Jesus by the religious leadership. They had enough proof to know that he was Messiah, but they did not want to lose their position with the Roman government. All of this is a uh, just a tragic scenario. But as we look around today, it's also a very tragic scenario. You find those that are supposedly part of the church uh, betraying the Lord and uh, and not being willing to stand for him. And you certainly see in the religious community, in the political community, a definite attack today upon things that are biblical. And it just seems to be increasing. Every week I hear more and more things uh, that are concerning and that we need to be very aware of. But in the midst of that, we need to realize we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And in the midst of this story is a very important verse that shows us the power and majesty of Jesus Christ. And so the uh, a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees came with lanterns, torches, and weapons in verse 3. Verse 4, Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? And they answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus saith unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayeth, betrayed him, stood with him. And as soon then as he had said unto them, I am, they went backward and fell to the ground. What an amazing scene. Here's Jesus about to be apprehended. No weapons to be able to defend himself. You have this one that uh, is a traitor. And Jesus simply identifies himself with that term, I am. And of course, that's the great term that referred to Jehovah God in the Old Testament. And here in the book of John, showing forth the deity of Christ, you have the several times that the I am is used. I am the good shepherd. Uh, I am the door. I am the way, the truth, and the life, showing the identification of Christ with the Old Testament Jehovah God. And he simply answers with I am, and they fall backward to the ground. If they had been wise, they would have realized this is the Messiah. But for us today, it's very encouraging to look at that little account, that verse tucked in there. At any moment, God can cause mankind to be pushed back and pushed down. He is the king. He does rule. He is the great I am. And so as we see all the things surrounding us, like Jesus had surrounding him, they are not fully powerful. They're only allowed to do what they do because God is fulfilling his plan. But at any moment, he can reveal himself and they will fall down before him as we find in the book of Revelation. Mankind, in comparison to God, is puny and has no power. And how important it is that we remember that as we hear the reports, as we see the situations around us. If we know Christ, we know the I am. And he will protect us. 
and he will accomplish his purpose if we will trust in him.